because writing a research paper is simple but that uh, not so easy so but it is not difficult also it is not just like a herculean task that you will say that okay you are not able to write the research paper and others have been writing you are not understanding the uh, concept of the research paper structure and all that so keep on practicing and you will definitely be uh, adept and skilled to write good piece of research okay but always remember there is a proper format some people have an idea but uh, they still lack somewhere so just uh, for them i have prepared one thing which is known as imrad okay a small and this imrad what is that here i stand for introduction okay introduction but you could say that uh, before introduction there is a there is an abstract also yes it it does have but just follow the pattern which i am telling you here and then this uh, m which stands for uh, methods r your uh, results a and and d for discussion okay so this is the structure now you would say this comes in the sequence you write introduction in introduction lr come also okay this is lr come also literature review then your research methodology of course and then your uh, data analysis that includes your results after that you conclude your paper and uh, discuss your paper including the results and pros and cons and uh, a lot of things yes you are right before introduction it comes here keywords also then it comes uh, your uh, abstract also but it this is not written initially abstract is written in the last of the body okay you write research paper then you give the snapshot of your research paper which is known as abstract some researchers commit mistakes they get confused in between the research paper and the conference paper in the conference paper you are supposed to write an abstract first abstract is a snapshot that what that what do you intend to do and that is pretty easier but in the research paper you start from your you find out your research gap by doing the introduction and uh, intense literature review the moment you find out uh, and ascertain your research gap then you apply research methodologies and then you analyze the data and then you interpret the results and finally discuss the paper so this comes one by one okay it is not like that jumping the research paper from uh, uh, initially you will start uh, the abstract and then uh, whatever you whatever it comes in your mind somebody gives you a primary data or secondary data and you would start analyzing putting it putting it in the sps set and eviews and r and you think that you are you have mastered uh, writing research papers no there is a sequence of the research paper okay but the actual structure is, differs from the writing the research paper it if you, if you see the structure of the research paper you will find the abstract is written first but abstract i am telling you that it is written in the last when you finish the research paper when you produce the research paper so finished product and then you tell that uh, what was what were your objectives and what were your uh, hypotheses or research methodologies and what was your result and thus it becomes the abstract which is written around 100 and 150 words sometimes 200 or 250 words not but not more than 250 words or 300 words so there is a proper guidelines while writing the research paper research paper can be published in various types of the indexes like scopus index abdc okay then other uh, index also ugc k ugc k r also but it is not necessary that you focus on only the conference papers or uh, you are only focus on the uh, the elsevier scopus index journals or uh, other kinds of journals but you at least start doing research uh, papers you start writing research papers then slowly and gradually you will master the writing part of the research paper nobody is perfect 
the efforts, the perseverance and the continuous uh, attempts and uh, perseverance and uh, your uh, the structure will make you perfect writing the search paper. Okay?